Okay, our next problem is going to be y is equal to x minus 1 over x times x squared minus 1 over x squared. Same exact deal. Yeah, you've got first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, but because you've got these ugly, x, these ugly fractions, um, you need to rewrite it first. So rewrite it as the following. y is equal to x minus 1 over x. Well, actually, I don't want to have this 1 over x here. I have x minus x to the negative 1 power times x squared minus x to the negative 2 power. Make sure you understand this. And I kind of got these a little bit close. Hopefully, they're not crowding out for you. So you have x squared minus x to the negative 2 in here. So you just basically convert it so it looks more like a polynomial. This is sort of the bottom line. Let me change colors here. But you work exactly the same way. So dy dx is equal to first times the derivative of the second, x minus x to the negative 1 power times the derivative of this guy, x squared minus x to the negative 2. Take the derivative. Plus the second term, x squared minus x to the negative 2 times the derivative of the first term, which is x minus x to the negative 1. Take its derivative. So now we just have to work with these derivatives. dy dx equals this one, leave it alone. x minus x negative 1. It just hangs out for a little while. Let's take the derivative of what we have here. The derivative of 2x, or I should say x squared, is 2x because the 2 comes down x to the first power because I subtract the exponent off. Minus. I'm going to have this guy. Negative 2 comes down and multiplies with this, making it positive. 2 x to the negative 3 power. The reason it's negative 3 is because I subtract 1 off that exponent. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. The reason it's positive is because these guys multiply uh, one another. Plus, leave this alone, x squared minus x to the negative 2. And here, I take the derivative. The derivative of x is just 1. The reason it's 1 is because the 1 comes down, which gives me this. x to the now 0 power, it just disappears. Now, next term, negative 1 times this is going to give me a positive, uh, I'm just go ahead and write the 1 for right now, x to the negative 2. The reason it's negative 2 is because I subtract 1 off. Now, I don't really have to write this 1 here, but it's okay. I'll just leave it there. So this guy multiplies, gives me a positive 1, x to the minus 2 because I subtract 1 off. Okay, now dy dx. What am I going to do next? Let me go ahead and switch colors just to break it up a little bit because it's starting to run together a little bit here. Uh, the next thing I need to do is just basically, well, there's a lot of ways you can go about it, but I would recommend doing FOIL here and then FOIL here and then just collecting your terms and see where they fall. So let's go ahead and do that. 2x times x is going to give me 2x squared. The inside terms, 2 times that negative 1 is negative 2 times x to the, here you have negative 1, plus 1, so it's going to give you 0 power. Now, if you're in a rush, you might just say, well, it's 0, I'm going to leave it out. But I like to leave it this way. That way, if I make a mistake, I can go back and trace where I found it. So negative 1 plus 1 gives me 0. Now, the outside terms, 2 times 1 gives me 2. x, I add these exponents. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Okay? And then the final guys is going to be negative, because negative times positive, 2 x, and I add these guys. Negative 3 plus negative 1 gives me negative 4. So that's a pretty lengthy 